Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another quick edit video. Again with another daytime mountain shot on which I want to apply a very, very contrast rich style and especially make the sky a lot darker. So the mountain in the foreground just stands out from it a little more. For the editing, I try to only use Adobe Lightroom Classic. So no need for Photoshop, but I maybe will use the Nick collection later. So before I start, let's first take a look at the before and after images. Okay, before I start with the basic stuff, let's go to the lens corrections first. And here I'm just activating the remove chromatic aberration setting. Since the profile correction does apply a strange distortion to the image, which I don't like in this case. So let's leave that deactivated and back to the top. For the profile, I'm choosing Adobe Landscape and then let's adjust the white balance. For this shot, I want to have it slightly warmer, so I am carefully increasing the temperature. And I think I want to get rid of the tint. That should be fine. As you can see, the image is way too overexposed to see any details in here. So I simply can drop the exposure to reveal the mountain and just get some nice detail. Okay, that looks much, much better. Now, of course, I want to add some contrast to the scene. And since the darks are already quite dark, I'm increasing the whites, which will just affect the brighter parts of the image and thus give the whole thing a lot more contrast. And when we take a look at the histogram, we can see there are a few overexposed areas right now. So I'm dropping the highlights to fix that. I can actually drop them all the way down. Now the histogram does look quite nice. I think I can still add some contrast though. And you can see I'm not really risking any over or under exposure, just a little bit right here, but that's not a problem. All right, then let's add some more details to the mountain and I'm doing this by adding some texture. And I'm also adding clarity. And let's apply some dehaze as well. Nice, that's already a big difference to the original. I think I can also add some vibrance to get some more saturation here. All right. Then I said in the intro, I want to make the sky a lot darker so the mountain stands out. In this case, I'm using a gradiated filter, which I have just dragged over the top of the sky. And here I start by dropping the exposure. All right. Of course, that's not really enough for my taste. So let's continue in the HSL tab, where I also will be doing some color grading. But first, but first, let's drop the luminance of the blue color and you can see the sky is getting much, much darker. For this image, I can almost go all the way down. Most of the times this doesn't work though, since this will result in strange looking artifacts throughout the image. Then let's check the saturation tab real quick. And you can see those cliffs of the mountain have some subtle orange yellowish color tones, which I want to boost. So let's increase the saturation here. Uh, yellow as well. Then let's drop the aqua saturation, which will just make the blue a little more subtle. And I'm also dropping the blue saturation. All right, looks quite good. Then let's do some split toning. For this image, I only want to work on the highlights and the midtones. Uh, let's start with the highlights and here I'm aiming for a warm color tone. By the way, if you're looking for those sliders, they are hidden under this little arrow right here. I just find them easier to handle. All right, I picked the color. Now let's boost the saturation. I don't want to overdo it here, so I'm going with something low. And for the midtones, again, I'm using a warm color tone. somewhere in this range and then let's boost the saturation again. All right, nice. Now the light in the mountain did get this subtle golden light effect, which looks pretty awesome. 
Then let's do the sharpening. And finally, I want to go all the way down into the calibration tab. And here I just want to boost the saturation of the red and blue colors. And this will only have a minor effect on this image, but I think it looks better this way. So that would be it for the Lightroom adjustments. Now I think I still want to check the Nick Collection plugins for some cool effects. So let's go to Edit in Color Effects Pro 4. And first off, I want to use the polarization effect to boost the colors a little more. And this will give the image some more depth in my opinion. So I think that looks good. Let's save it. And then let's check it one more time. Go to edit in Color Effects Pro 4. And let's apply a dreamy look using the classical soft focus. And here I'm going with the third soft focus method. Maybe let's reduce the strength. Okay. And that's it for editing this mountain landscape image using Adobe Lightroom Classic. I hope this was interesting and helpful, of course. As always, if you have any questions left, then feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video.